Welcome to Tucker Carlson Tonight, the show that is the sworn enemy of lying, pomposity, smugness, and groupthink, bane of bullies, hero to dogs and small children everywhere. Well, joining us now is an ally of Mayor de Blasio. He is New York City Council member Rafael Salamanca, who represents the Bronx. It's great to see you, Ms. Salamanca. Um, so there's something that evokes memories in this, and we saw this in the 1950s and 60s. States and municipalities defied federal law in a bunch of different places, in Little Rock, for example, in Alabama and Mississippi, and the Fed sent troops in, sent tanks in to enforce federal law. How is this different from that? Well, I don't think the federal government is going to send any tanks or... Uh, but why wouldn't, why is it different from what happened before? Well, I... I to be quite frank, I can't explain why what happened before, but I can explain what's happening now. Okay. Um, ID NYC, it's, uh, it's an ID that the city of New York has, which um, uh, residents in my district and in the city of New York are taking good adva um, advantage of right. uh, because of, number one, the, the, um, what it provides. Uh, we have many of my, I have a lot of my constituents and also residents that live in my community mm -hmm. who do not have a form of ID. And therefore, what ID NYC does is that it allows you to have a form of ID should you have any interaction right. with police officers I, I or understand. inter I understand order. that, but what the mayor was saying is, look, there are federal laws about who's allowed to be in the country and who's not, and we're ignoring them, and there's nothing you can do about it. Why is that not a violation of the law itself? You're an elected official looking at the federal government and saying, I'm not obeying. Why is that okay? Well, I don't think that that's what the mayor is saying, that he's not obeying. What the mayor is saying is that he's going to protect residents of the city, uh, in, in the city of New York. And uh, in the city of New York, we have individuals who are documented and undocumented, mm -hmm. and he's looking out for the best interests of, this, of the residents. So New York, New York is a sanctuary city, which means it protects people who are breaking immigration laws, right? There are federal laws, they're being broken, but those people are protected by the city of New York. My question is, once you start deciding we're not recognizing certain laws, why stop with immigration laws? Why wouldn't New York City be a sanctuary city for tax evaders, for example, or people who use heroin? I mean, where, who decides which laws New Yorkers have to follow and which they don't? Well, I don't think that that's what the mayor is implying, uh, as well, I what mentioned. That's what he said. Well, no, I, I, to be quite frank, uh, I don't think that that's what the mayor is implying. What the mayor is implying is that he, he's looking out for residents in the city of New York. And, you know, his conversation, my understanding, and watching the media, and, and he was very frank and clear uh, to, to President-elect uh, Trump that he's going to do everything that he can in his power uh, to protect his constituents. So, but, and, and Trump is saying, I mean, you have a legitimate difference of opinion here, but Trump is saying there's a law that prohibits people who are here illegally from working and continuing to collect benefits. Mm -hmm. And your mayor and you are saying, no, we're ignoring the law. Mm -hmm. They're doing something. Or, or you're not saying that. Do you think mm -hmm. the people who are here illegally should face the legal consequences? No, what I'm saying is that, so the federal government, they, they can, they're the ones who enforce the law, correct? That's right. And the state has to abide by what the federal government has to say. But we also have every right to say, hey, we want to defend our, our, um, our constituents, whether they're documented or undocumented. And this is very clear. The reason that the mayor is being so frank is because of President-elect's uh, stance on immigration and what he plans on doing. And so, but his stance is not different from what the law currently is under yes. President Obama. He's merely saying, "I'm going to enforce the law." And your argument is, you shouldn't enforce the law. No, what, what, what sort of an odd message for an elected official no, to send? What, what, what his stance is saying is that he is going to go after and he's just going to deport all, all um, undocumented immigrants. But there's a repercussion to that. What about families? The families that are here, you're going to break families uh -huh. who, who, who are here. And as an elected official, at least um, me being an elected official in the South Bronx, where I have a high population of individuals who are documented or undocumented, it's my responsibility to protect them all. But I wonder if you have a responsibility to other people in this country, like say the middle class in New York, which has been shrinking every year since I can remember. They're obviously impacted negatively by illegal immigration because they're paying the bills for people who aren't citizens. Where's the concern for them? I never hear anybody on the left say, what about like ordinary people working two jobs? You know, they don't have a lot of money. They're paying for the stuff. What about their interests? Are you interested well, in Well, we interests? also, you also have the undocumented who are working two, three jobs as well. And they're also paying taxes as well. You know, so in, again, I am responsible for the South Bronx. And it's my responsibility to defend the individuals who are living in the South Bronx. What do you say to people? Because it's not just about the South Bronx. It's about the millions of people who are living here who are not allowed to be here legally. They just came. They're defying the law. They're not interested in obeying the law, apparently. What do you say to the millions and millions and millions of people who are waiting in line in foreign countries to do it the right way, and it's a long process, 
They're suckers, aren't they? And you're pointing out what suckers they are by helping the people who broke the law. No, no, no. So, well, I'm being quite frank. We also have to understand that these individuals who are undocumented, who are here, you know, they're here because they want to get a better life for themselves. No, and I, for I get it, families. but no, no, I'm talking about what the other people. What about all the decent people who want to come here for to make a better life for themselves, but they can't because they have to follow the laws? Is it, what about them? Does this make a mockery of what they're doing? No, I'm, and again, the immigration system is not perfect. It is flawed, and we both know that. But are you making it better, or are you encouraging people to break the law by giving them sanctuary here? No, we're, we're not encouraging anyone to break the law. Really? No, no, I, yeah, really. We're not encouraging anyone to break the law. You're saying if you make it to New York, you're all set. You know, no one's going to no come grab you because we're going to protect you. If I'm in a foreign country, and I, if it's a choice between waiting in line for three years to get a visa or just like showing up illegally and getting to New York, why wouldn't I choose the latter? No. Well, again, that's a conversation that we all need to have because our immigration, well, you especially our, our immigration system, our immigration system is flawed, and we know that. What I am advocating is for those individuals that are in my in my council district, and we have we have a new government. Well, we have a president elect who's coming in, who's stating that he's going to come in and he is going to deport all of them. Let me just, uh, let me just ask. We're almost out of time. A sincere question. So you're issuing voter ID card. You're issuing ID cards. What would prevent a holder of one of those cards from voting? Are you worried about that? Uh, no, no, because in order for you to vote, you need a social security number. Uh -huh. And uh, these, um, these ID cards, you don't need a social security number to, uh, to, to, to obtain should, it. Should people here legally be allowed to vote, do you think? I'm sorry? Should people here illegally be allowed to illegally? vote? No, no, that's, no. They, you don't think they should? No. So if a vote came up and that was the question, should we allow them to vote, you would vote no? No, exactly. Okay, well, good for you. Yeah. City Councilman, thanks a lot for joining us. Thank you. I appreciate it.